Hello everyone, Steve here with Hobby Farm Guys. And I'm Brian. And turning the knobs and flipping the switches behind the scenes is Eric. What up, peeps? Today we tackle the topic of turkeys and things you need to know before adding turkeys to your chicken flock. Don't go away. Chickens are often called the gateway livestock, the animal most hobby and small scale farmers start with before getting more types of animals. So after chickens, what comes next? Turkeys are a popular choice, as they're kind of like big chickens. Yeah. Uh, so unlike adding a goat, a rabbit, or a pig, you don't have to build new housing or fences. Much, if not all, of the infrastructure for these new animals is already in place. And that's really the first thing to know and understand when you're considering adding turkeys to your chickens. Turkeys are not simply big chickens, but they are big. Even small turkey varieties are larger than the largest standard fowl chicken breeds. So be prepared to provide your turkey flock with roomier housing than what your roosters and hens have. At a minimum, plan on six square feet per bird. And recognize that everything else will need to be turkey sized as well. The roosts, nest boxes, and so on. Right. The next thing to understand about turkeys is that they're excellent foragers who are also naturally inquisitive, which means they tend to wander pretty far, particularly heritage breeds. While chickens tend to stay fairly close by, turkeys can wander significant uh, distances, putting them at risk of predation or becoming lost. Plan on some sort of fencing to keep those turkeys contained. And depending on what type of turkeys you plan to keep, plan on that fencing being six feet or taller. Commercial broad-breasted varieties aren't really good flyers, so if that's what you've got, uh, this is less of an issue. But heritage breeds, they tend to be great flyers, so much so that you may find that even a six-foot fence isn't enough to contain them, and you may need to clip their wings. Given enough space, turkeys tend to stick around, but if crammed into a small space, they may literally fly the coop. Another thing about turkeys, particularly heritage breeds, they prefer to roost up high, outside, often choosing a tree over your nice, comfortable coop. You can get turkeys to go in at night with chickens by feeding them in the evening in the coop, um, but I found they really prefer to be outside, up high, even in the winter. While roosting in the trees is probably attributable to the closer connection heritage turkeys have with wild turkeys and their innate sense of self-preservation, Avoiding the enclosed chicken coop full of birds and droppings may also result from the fact that turkeys have very sensitive lungs and are prone to respiratory problems in confined spaces. In particular, turkeys are sensitive to ammonia levels lower than our human noses can perceive. They are also highly susceptible to mycotoxins associated with mold that might grow in hay or wet grain or feed. Yeah, so when adding turkeys to chickens, Make sure you have plenty of ventilation, maybe even a fan, and plan on cleaning maybe a little more often. Another issue when adding turkeys to chickens is the feed. If you're adding commercial broad-breasted birds, you're going to want to provide them with a higher protein feed to ensure they put on that weight quickly for that Thanksgiving table. Mm -hmm. right? This often requires trying to separate and feed chickens and turkeys separately, uh, which that can be hard. Uh, now, they're not going to be harmed by eating the other's food. You just may lose the benefits of higher protein for the turkeys or laying feed for the hens. Now, the biggest concern when it comes to adding turkeys to chickens is disease. Turkeys are susceptible to many of the same illnesses that can infect chickens, including avian influenza, pylorum, fowl pox, and Newcastle's disease. But there's one disease that affects turkeys to a much greater degree, and that's blackhead. Chickens usually show no symptoms and can lead normal, healthy lives while carrying that disease. But blackhead and turkeys can be deadly, especially to young poults. Check with your local extension agent or veterinarian to see if blackhead is present in your area. If so, you'll probably want to keep your flocks separated. As far as interacting with one another, chickens and turkeys get along just fine. In many ways, they just proceed as though the other isn't even there. Mm -hmm. right? So I've raised turkeys and chickens together for over 10 years. I've had broad-breasted varieties. I've had heritage turkeys. I've had rooster's hens. I've never once had a problem with fighting or bullying between chickens and turkeys. The chickens are a little more excitable, so they tend to run around, you know, kind of hit the feeder first. And the turkeys tend to be more laid back. They just kind of let the, finish, uh, let the chickens finish their thing and then kind of move in and eat behind them. So there you have it. 
things to know before adding turkeys to your chicken flock. And if you do decide to add some turkeys, let us know what variety you picked and any tips or tricks you discover by leaving a comment below. Until next time... Hey Brian, before we go, why did the farmer have to separate the chicken from the turkey? I don't know. He sensed foul play. Ha 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 ha! Bye bye.